this life you do it accurately. Yes. He that is focused does not allow anything to distract him until he made it to his final destination. Oh yes. This is what we are talking about. Okay, listen. Do you know there was a time my parents were so poor that we were using papcha as food? This papcha comes out of Adam. In my ear, Jack, I'm the chap that comes out of Adam. That was what we were using as food. One day I remember my mom sent me to this mama mess in number three, Abeba. The woman waited for me, she did not see me, and got the whole papcha in a dustbin. On lifting up my eyes, the whole papcha was not coming. She was shocked and started bringing out the papcha from the dustbin. When she handed it over to me, there was some ashes on top of the papcha. Do you know when I was going? I turned back to see the face of the woman that gave me food to eat. Behold, this woman was weeping, shedding tears. Oh my God. Do you know my mother will send me to the farm to look for palm fruit? I will go there. If I didn't see enough on the ground, I will have to look for a big stone to hit on the palm tree. Then some fruit will fall down. I will gather them to my mother. She will cook them and melt them in hot water. She will add Perfect. Salt and maggi. Soup is made. Then you squeeze the pap chaff, drop them one by one, and take a little portion of the oil in your mouth and carry the bowl of pap chaff into your mouth. Swallow it immediately. If you don't swallow it immediately, it will melt in your mouth. That was how sorrowful our life was. But today, as I am talking to you, the Lord has changed the story. The story is changed. As I'm talking to you, I am proud to be a gospel musician. I am proud to be a Christian, and I am proud to be a born again. As I'm talking to you, I have about seven good houses. It is the Lord's doing. I have a street in Abad. I have so many things when it comes to life, and also the most important thing, I have a huge spiritual growth. This is what the Lord can do for you. If you come to Him, He will do you good. Yes. So many people say that I'm a ritualist. I am this and that. Of course, I know you must have called me names. Glory be to God. But I know one thing. I made a promise to God when I was small. I told God, if anything will lead me to a native doctor's house, if you cannot save me from any predicament, from any trouble I see myself in. It's better for me to die. Let me tell you, if I go to any juju man for anything, let me die. If I go to any native doctor for anything, let me die. This is a covenant I made with God, and I can never go out of it. You can call me whatever you want. Even Jesus, what was called names, people called him names. Yes, we the followers of Christ, we will face so many things. During this scandal, do you know so many people were breaking my tapes and throwing them outside? If I'm walking on the street, I will see so many of my tapes outside. I will cry unto the Lord. I say, God, you know my hands are clean. Do you know so many invitations was reversed because of the scandal? Yes, brothers, sisters, so many people ran away from me. When I look up and down, by my right, by my left, I saw nobody. And God gave me a song that says, "There is something that makes me come into Your presence, my helper." Also, the scandal gave me another song that says, "Onora unkoro gudiano, ye meja koro giracha. Onya wesigi who are you? Ye meja wesigi how are you? Those that ask you who are you, let us ask you how are you in Jesus' name." See, after the whole rumor, after the scandal, praise and well wishes, brother. As everybody came back to me. I looked all around me. I saw the brightness and the presence of God back to me. Oh my God! I composed another song that said, "Otu a kachine kaindi, agidiba." Our God is so powerful, He's so great because He has brought all our enemies to be at peace with us. Oh Jesus! Your enemies will come back to you, bending on their knees in the name of Jesus. 